Now, if you think about it, though, would the disciples, if Jesus was trying to explain alien technology to them <laughs> and how he resurrected, didn't really understand it? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. But whatever it was that helped him raise from the dead don't mean he didn't really raise from the dead. It don't mean they didn't really take him back up into heaven, right? You see what I mean? Right. Literally, literally. <laughs> Okay, and he's ascending, right? Right. And then the two angels appear to them again, right? And then they ascend, right? And again, right? <sighs> Elijah went up in the chariot of fire. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if it's a gaseous, fiery I don't know, realm or dimension, right? They're not solid like we are. Mm. See, they're living gas entities, right? They're not flesh and blood like us, as you've heard in the Bible. Mm. But Jesus was flesh and bone, right? Okay, right. And still resurrected and still resurrected. Now, the dilemma is were the wounds healed or were there stripes or right? And if so, could he still bleed or whatever? <laughs> that depends, like I said, on if he's healed, right? Now, when you're healed, right, and James, I mean, Thomas went to touch the wound in the side, right? Did he touch in the wound or did he touch the scar of the wound? Too, too? Right. <laughs> no, it was three days later, right? Or, well, wait a minute. No, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Uh, Thomas was two weeks later or something, right? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But like I said, did he, after the cross, impregnate Mary Magdalene? Because <laughs> she was cheating on him with seven men the whole time. <laughs> mm. Those seven women also take hold of one. Man, could that have to be, do with the woman at the well? Mm -hmm. Why do you think you don't know why these stories are in, in the Bible? It's not just about Jewish-Samaritan relationships. <laughs> Which wouldn't change with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it might be about <laughs> sexual relations with the woman. <laughs> That's what you don't want. To understand, right? Mm. Jesus was sexual too. <laughs> Even if I treasure him for like too. too. <sighs> That's what I mean. That mm. if right by one of the soldiers during the six hours he was being interrogated, you wouldn't know if they didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. But they talk about the rape of Eve. Eve was the least raped in the story. <laughs> okay, she's eating up this tree and seems to be liking it. <laughs> she don't seem to have a problem with the tree's fruit either. Adam seems to. <laughs> when it's fed to him. <laughs> by her. By her. Getting him to eat of it too. <laughs> True. Now, if this goes sexual, though, you know what that means if she's doing something with this being. <laughs> the one of us we became as to no good and evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As God said, let us now go down and confound their language at Babel. <laughs> Who is she talking to? The sons of God. Also called by Peter and John, Jude, the angels. The angels who sinned before the time of Noah. <laughs> and you know, I know, they're also mentioned in Job, the sons of God. The sons of God went before its throne in heaven. In heaven. And see, like I said, they're gaseous beings. They're not flesh and blood like us, right? But guess what? They can assume human form. Ah, that's where you're messing up. Mm -hmm. That's where you're confused by myth and mythology, right? 
See, whatever these lights are, they're what? First lights. Well, that's what God's described as the father of all lights. See, when the shepherds saw the angels in the sky at night singing to them, in Hebrew probably, could have been Greek, we don't know, we don't know. But again, what did they say, right? <laughs> to them, right? peace on earth, goodwill to men, right? See, these are the benevolent angels, the good angels, right? And then you have the malevolent angels following Satan and getting you to follow them into hell, right? But call them dimensional beings, but their dimension is gaseous life forms. It's kind of like uh, Paul compares them from the sun to the earth, right? See, if the sun, and there's a whole dimension where these creatures exist, right? That's why I say there can even be fairy creatures there and unicorns because they're not solid as they are here. <laughs> they can also, if they, before a certain time, could appear and disappear. You understand what I mean? Like the myth of the fairies anyway. And, uh, see, like Adam, if they come here, there's two options. Jesus was born of a woman who knew a man. Right? What does that mean? The, the angel known as Now, like, Yahuwah <laughs> became human and became Jesus Christ. Mm. From its gaseous form in heaven. Now, some literally think Jacob's ladder that showed the angels ascending and descending to the earth is a literal ladder too, right? No, it means they're descending to the terrestrial form from the celestial form where they're gaseous beings, right? And the way they do that is they become either adults, right? Or they become what? Children in the womb like you did with the Virgin Mary, right? In fact, some women have had children that way without having sex with their husbands. And it's mythed, uh, and there's two ways to do that. One, the woman is not really fully female. She's a hermaphrodite. Mm -hmm. The other way mm -hmm, is another being <laughs> impregnated her by, like, Jesus becoming human <laughs> in her womb right. and being born nine months later in the normal gestation period of a child, right? Here in the terrestrial universe, right? And that's the point, though. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> well, it's like with the invisible man. <laughs> Why was he invisible? Mm -hmm. Optics, optics. And camera angles, right? That constantly... While he was wearing the suit, you couldn't see him. You couldn't see him because the camera angles was keeping up with pretty much everything he did, but not perfectly at times either if you saw the whole movie. I know. That's because in reality, though, I know, a machine, no matter how good it is, is still just that, a machine, right? They're also seeing triangle-type aircrafts which they're associated with stealth technology. Well, if you're seeing through a plane that's flying through the air, and even the Bible describes when they saw the Lord, they saw a silhouette of a form, but they could also see through it, right? Well, that's what they're kind of doing there with the other alien technology, right? Or is it man-made technology, they're confusing as alien, right? Too, too. The way you do that is what? Cameras and optics, right? See, the cameras on top of the plane reflect what's on top, right? And show it on the bottom, right? The bottom is really the screen. 
And as the plane is flying, <laughs> hope I'm not revealing any military secrets there. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> what does that mean if I am? 